Hey, I'm Nick, welcome to Brewing TV, and today I'm gonna to walk you through Northern Brewer's online priming sugar calculator. All right, so let's go to the online calculator. When the page opens, you'll see three fields to fill out. You'll need to know the beer style or desired volumes of CO2, the current temperature of the beer, and the volume of the beer you have. If you know the desired volumes of CO2 you want in your beer, you can just punch that in manually. If you're not that advanced or you don't know what volume of CO2 you want in the beer style that you have, just go ahead and select it from the drop tab and it'll auto-populate the amount of CO2 that's recommended for that beer. Next, we need to establish the current temperature of the beer. Uh, this is important because most of the CO2 will have bubbled off during fermentation. However, a small amount will have remained in the beer. And this amount varies depending on the temperature of the beer. Entering that value here helps us more accurately determine how much more CO2 needs to be put into the beer. All right, finally, we're gonna enter the volume of beer that needs to be carbonated. Uh, the reason we're doing this is obviously one gallon of beer is going to require much less CO2 than say five gallons of beer. So that's why we need to enter that value here. And there you go. Just populate all the fields and all the different types of sugar that you can use will populate in there. As well as the amount in grams, ounces, and cups you can use to carbonate your beer. There are many different options you can use for priming your beer. Just keep in mind that whatever you decide to use can affect your beer differently. Something like corn sugar will be very neutral and very little impact on the final flavor of your beer. Whereas something like molasses or dried malt extract will have much more of an impact on your beer. It can contribute uh, residual sugar as well as uh, more body in the final product. Um, whereas if you use something like honey, you could end up with more floral notes in your beer. So choose the priming sugar that best matches the flavor profile you're looking for. So like all of home brewing, what you put in your beer is completely up to you. So do some experiments, find out what you like, and get brewing. Cheers.